And history today in New Jersey as a nun is now one step closer to becoming a saint. TV 1055 Janelle Burrell was there for the ceremony. The gray skies above the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart no match for these friends' enthusiasms. I was up at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> for them, the rain simply showers of blessings for a historic day in Newark. Several hundred Catholics from around the region and the world packed the Basilica for a beatification ceremony. Remember this day, brothers and sisters. The first ever performed on United States soil, honoring a nun, Sister Miriam Teresa Demjanovic, a true New Jersey girl now fulfilling the third of four steps to become a saint. Saints are, are models and inspirations for us, so it's just great to have somebody right from New Jersey, right from Bayonne, New Jersey, so that's exciting. Sister Miriam Teresa died in 1927 at the age of 26, but it's what the faithful believe happened years later that bestowed her this honor. A little boy going blind prayed to the sister, clutching a lock of her hair, and soon after, his mother says his vision came back. They actually have proof because the doctors, one of which is from St. Joe's in Patterson, actually knows that this is not medical science. This is a miracle. That miracle, now 58 years old. That little boy was Michael Menser. I have a feeling the second miracle is not far away. As part of the Catholic tradition, Sister Miriam Teresa will now officially be referred to as blessed. Now just one miracle away from sainthood. In Newark, New Jersey, Janelle Burrell, TV 1055. Catholics say multiple doctors confirm that Michael Menser was cured beyond any medical explanation. Only a handful of Americans have ever been beatified or given the title of saint.